King Josiah and the people of Judah renewed their commitment to the laws of God. Then Josiah went into the temple, took out all the idols and brought them out and burnt them with fire. The people went throughout Jerusalem, destroying all idols and altars to pagan gods. At that point, King Josiah personally went throughout all of the land of Judah and oversaw the destruction of idols and altars to pagan gods in every major city. He then went north to the land of Israel, did the same thing there, destroyed idols and pagan gods and altars. If he came to a particular popular pagan site, he, he desecrated it so that it would never be used for idol worship again. He went to Bethel, where Jeroboam had set up an altar to his golden calves. He totally destroyed it and everything around it. He saw some tombs nearby and he sent some men to get some human bones and he burnt them on the altar so it would be totally desecrated. At that point, he saw a monument and said, what is that? Some local people said, oh, that is a, that's the tomb of the young prophet from Judah who came here to speak against Jeroboam's altar. He told the people what you would do today. You have fulfilled that prophecy. The king said, leave it alone. And he went back to Jerusalem. Josiah then organized a Passover feast like none other. <laughs> he and prominent men of Judah gave generously so, so, so that everybody would have a sacrifice that they could give. In all of the history of Judah, there was no king like Josiah. He served and loved God with all of his mind, his heart, and his strength. Still, God planned to destroy Jerusalem. He was going to take the people of Judah into captivity, just like he had done with Israel. But he said it wouldn't happen as long as Josiah lived. When the king was 39 years old, the pharaoh of Egypt moved past Judah going north to help the nation of Assyria. Josiah went out to stop them. The pharaoh sent him a note saying, uh, uh, my battle is not with you. I'm going to fight somebody else. Don't interfere or God will use me to destroy you. Josiah wouldn't listen to this advice, but moved his army in. And, but he, he disguised himself so that the enemy wouldn't know that he was a king. Suddenly an arrow came and struck him, and he slumped down in his chariot. His men took him back to Jerusalem, where he died. All of Judah mourned the death death of their king. Jeremiah wrote a special song that was sung at the funeral of Josiah. 